I think Travis is embracing it as much as he can, so I, I think it's okay. The whole Taylor Swift and Travis, you understand why it's not become a distraction or anything like that because everybody cares about being the best they can be every day. That's a teary-eyed Taylor last night in Brazil, trying to do her best to honor a fan who died just 48 hours earlier. Ana Clara Benavides Machado allegedly succumbed to cardiac arrest due to extreme heat while waiting for the concert to start. Her father told a local newspaper, quote, I wanted found out whether they were prohibited from bringing water, whether there was negligence in providing assistance. When somebody says they need water when it's this hot, they really need it. Taylor did stop her show Friday, distributing water to Swifties. She even seemed to struggle to catch her breath as the heat index hit a reported 140 degrees inside the stadium. On Saturday, a devastated Taylor posted, I feel overwhelmed by grief and postponed that night's concert to tonight. That means she's missing out on Travis's big game back in Kansas City, where both sets of Swellsy parents were set to meet for the first time. Mr. Swift, I apologize, big guy. Well, today, both Trav and his mama are opening up about those initial fears over Swellsy's whirlwind romance. He likes attention. He so does. He'll be fine. As long as he can handle it, I, I don't have any problems with it. She's a very, very nice person. From today's GMA to the new WSJ magazine out December 9th, Donna Kelsey is all in, saying Travis is, quote, happier than I've seen him in a long time. The tight end praises Taylor in the mag, calling her hilarious and a genius. And as for the added paparazzi attention, quote, I've never dealt with it, but I'm not running away from any of it. He adds how he was warned about getting together with Tay, quote, everybody telling me, don't blank this up, and me sitting here saying, yeah, got it. The outspoken 34-year-old says that's why he became tight-lipped. The biggest thing to me, make sure I don't say anything that would push Taylor away. You know, it is my personal life, and um, I want to respect both of our lives.